let's have a lesson and discussion on this work. Follow us for free and just pick up all the tips from the video. But if you're interested, I do have a sheet music edition of all 25 etudes in Carcassi's Opus 60, and there's a link for that in the description. This is one of my favorite etudes in the collection uh, for a number of reasons, but it, it's an excellent etude for working on ascending and descending slurs, or hammer-ons and pull-offs in guitar lingo. But it, it also is a challenge to put those slurs in the context of, of the phrasing of the piece, which is sometimes a little bit challenging, as well as to have a little bit of romantic era almost flash to the piece and expression, but with still with some of that classical era refinement and, and holding back a little bit. And one of the other things I really like about the etude as well is that it works at a number of tempos, making it very pleasing to, to work on it in the initial stages when you're going at a slower tempo, and then you can work your way up uh, and increase that extroverted nature of the etude as well. So I think uh, what I would first recommend that you do with this piece is, is just go at a very slow tempo work on the slurs and working them into larger groups uh, in at first small groups of course but then working into larger groups uh, to make sure that you're you're using um, good slur technique in the context of good phrasing so you know you could start off with just the smallest units of the of the slurs to work on I often like to just repeat you know little fragments Working on the individual slurs themselves, but then making sure that they flow in like natural shapes, because all of those individual slurs must form this, this phrasing, right? So they must have a scoop that works through multiple slurs. So it's a, like I said, a great opportunity to work on your slur technique, but then really put them into the context of phrasing. In other areas of the piece, the slurs don't even necessarily happen from a strong beat to a weak beat, making them even harder to add into the, the phrasing of the piece. For example, there, that can sometimes interfere with my sense of, of phrasing. But if you work on it a lot, you can get it to scoop through. So great etude and then work on it really slowly like that. Work on the slurs, work on grouping them into larger phrases and then you can start bringing the tempo up making it more exciting. There's nothing hugely awkward about the piece so that's great. It's just it's challenging at a faster speed so it's an excellent etude to work on all these things at slow tempos and then ramp up the speed and extrovertedness while retaining the refinement that's necessary for the somewhat reserved and classical nature of the piece. It is marked Allegretto Grazioso, so he's, he's, he made a very specific point of Grazioso to make it graceful, you know, not to be too crazy and extroverted with it, but to have some of that classical refinement to the piece. Um, so it's not, it's not a rocker piece, right? It's with tons of slurs. It's, it's actually a classical kind of era of work, it has lots of romantic flair to it, but it is contained in that way. So I think that's your task. I think we can just do a walkthrough of the piece, um, just to discuss a few things as we go. So hold off a little bit at, at the beginning. I'll go a little bit slower. Uh, that, a lot of people when they play this, they just pluck the rest of the notes because that works really well with the phrasing um, and it's much easier than including that extra slur that Carcassi includes. So I've seen lots of people just ditch that slur and play it in one position or just ditch the slurs completely. I kind of consider it a slur etude so I included that um, and then the it makes the fingering just a little bit more challenging, but you get to, to work on, on combining that with good phrasing. So I think it's really beneficial still. 
It depends what you're using the piece for, I guess. Um, if you're not worried about the etude aspect of it, then you can you can ditch it and play like, like that if you like. Um, and I do usually cut on those rests. Starting at measure five. relax a little bit at that, that cadence there. Next section. I use my thumb for the first two notes and then switch to fingers after. And that's one of those examples of that, that slur coming on an offbeat there, which is, can be a little disorienting to your phrasing, so you just have to, to work on that to make sure that your strong to weak beats make sense, right? Here I just use my fingers because my thumb can rest. Here I take a little bit more of a romantic kind of phrasing to it. Almost putting a little fermata on those notes. And I use um, my, like, I will jump the new finger over because there is a rest underneath the new note. It allows you to highlight that, that little glissando there. Even there, I use my third finger so that you can just articulate it all the same. And then we have this little change to A minor, which is a very welcome um, key change. A lot of the etudes are very uniform in their key. Uh, but this is quite welcome. sharp on the top there. I'm actually redoing this video because in my last video I didn't play the D sharp but I'm playing it now and it was always in the music. Then lots of slurs to end this section. I do a little bit of a writ there. You could play straight through it, but I think it's nice to set up that return of that first section. great piece to work on uh, on so many things but in some in a piece that although it's very active and moves around a ton is not particularly awkward in any way so yeah a real opportunity to clean up your playing I found as I raised the tempo is is tough keeping some of those slur passages clean um, I could I'll continue to work on it of course um, and to clean those up but it, that's one of the challenges of the piece I also really love this piece because it's really fun to play. There's so many slurs and it's kind of like finger candy to, for your fingers. Um, it's very exciting, but it has it has so many dimensions to the piece and there's lots of different interpretations you can take. So uh, very exciting piece to work on, very beneficial for your technique as well.